journey started in the city of brotherly love. And what we found here was alarming. Trank now mixed into 90% of Philadelphia's fentanyl and heroin supply, drugs that drive up the fatal overdose rates. It causes sort of pulmonary um, impairment, um, sedative breathing impairment and your heart functioning. What happens is people can almost suffocate if you're not paying attention to them. People are also developing open wounds and their limbs sometimes have to be amputated. This city now the epicenter of this scourge. Months ago, and now the State Department of Health is seeing a trend. Cases of overdoses linked to weed laced with the lethal synthetic opioid fentanyl. What we're finding is there, um, there are overdoses, possible overdoses related to marijuana that are associated with fentanyl. And there, we've had our first laboratory confirmed case of marijuana contaminated with the fentanyl. Since July, the agency has received 39 cases of patients exhibiting opioid overdose symptoms. The state lab has confirmed its first case. Logan is warning consumers of the risks of buying drugs from the illegal market. She says those who are using should keep Narcan on hand. You never really know what you're buying or getting off the street. You know, you think it might be marijuana, but it could be marijuana mixed with a bunch of other things. In various discussions, we have been talking about uh, the cannabis legalization here in New York City, the drug issues, fentanyl, the zombie drug with Trank in it. Uh, all these issues, we've had multiple videos discussing it. And the thing about it is with these issues compiled upon one after another and after another, where are our political leaders? Nowhere to be found. All we hear is the little speeches that we're going to take care of it and nothing has been done. And what has happened? Cities like Philadelphia, New York, Seattle, San Francisco are turning into scenes out of the TV series, The Walking Dead. Dun, 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 dun. Little pig, little pig, let me in. And I'm not kidding you. Take a moment, go out there for yourself. Check it out, but do be careful because especially in Philadelphia, uh, a lot of them don't like you taking videos of them. And from what I understand, some people that have been out there trying to document the situation have been attacked. And the thing about it is with the zombie drug tr trank that's out there, uh, we're seeing more issues are coming forward as we're seeing more and more people um, addicted to this and also ending up in the hospital or ODing and dying at the same time there. But before we get into this discussion today on this video, uh, here's a message from our main channel, q to cast TV. I just wanted to take this moment to thank all of you for clicking on this video. If you haven't yet, hit that like, share this video with friends, family, enemies, and hopefully today I've earned your subscription. And for those of you already subscribed, please make sure you are still subscribed as YouTube tends to remove uh, subscriptions from time to time. And remember, if you wish to help support this channel, there are several links in the description below, including a merch shop with new anime themed shirts and mugs now available. Once again, thank you for your support and make sure you hit that notification bell to make sure you receive all our notifications on Cuticast TV and all of our programming across all of our social media platforms. Thank you once again. You know, and like I said before, there are many issues. We're in a situation where we have drugs all over the place and nothing being done about it. Our politicians don't give a shit. And this is why I keep saying this. When it comes election time, pay attention to who you're voting for. Are they going to serve the, the general public or are they going to serve their own political ideologies 
and their own pocket lining their own pockets with money because that's what's been happening here because you you have situations where you have chinese nationals and you have mexican cartels that have marijuana growing plants uh throughout the country that they've they've created their own market within there making money sending it back home to fund their uh illicit traits on their weapons governments whatever you want to put in that situation on there depending on where it is whether it's china whether it's mexico you know that these are the issues that are going on and on top of that you have drugs being sprinkled with uh a tranquilizer that is causing flesh rotting and now we're hearing that it is also sparking a psychosis you know we're seeing that on the streets that they're walking around like zombies but uh, according to er doctors there's a psychosis also happening to these people and you know people say well why they continue to have it if this is happening because it becomes addictive immediately you know, we've seen this out of MS-13 and the drug cartels that they're creating more and more drugs that are more addictive, that they guarantee they will have the customers coming back for it, even if it kills some of their customers. Well, let's read out of this from the New York Post. Flesh rotting zombie drug trank takes over. Addictors reeling as most street narcotics now feature a sedative that sparks psychosis melanie cox mammoth sore has gotten worse much worse it started as a hot puffy spot between her thumb and her index finger where she's been injecting heroin for nearly two decades but soon the legion bloated into a grotesque brownish green slug it wasn't the heroin that rotted Co cox flesh away it was an animal sedative known as trank which has infected every facet of the drug game and left healthcare workers bewildered and addicts reeling from its shocking side effects. You could put my hand to your lips and feel the heat emanating, the 51-year-old mother of three told the Post last week in Asbury Park as she dabbed the gal's wound. It was eating my hand away under the skin. More and more similarities, sicken sto sickening stories are being reported across the country as xylazine, more commonly known as the st street name Trank, slithers its way into bags of heroin, cocaine, meth to strike unsuspecting users who don't know that they're s snorting, shooting, and smoking a conscious, erasing, flesh rotting drug. And I'm surprised they didn't put the fent fentanyl and the um, marijuana in there because it has been sneaking into there because they're smoking it they're smoking it and you know they're adding it to fentanyl and marijuana a cheap cutting agent xylazine has also worked its way into off bill pills like xanax and other sedatives and painkillers meaning that users think that they're doing one drug and probably doing trank also whether they want to or not the so-called zombie drug omnipresence shocked the staff at the visiting nurse Association Help Group in Asbury Park, the first outfit in New Jersey to get Trank test strips about three months ago. Every single client shows Trank in their urine. Case manager Chad Harlan told the Post, if they're using drugs, they're using Trank. The flesh-eating lesions aren't the worst part. Deaths linked to Trank have spiked in recent years. In 2021, the rate of drug overdoses Deaths involving xylazine was 35 times higher than it was just three years earlier, according to a June report from the U.S. Centers of Dis for Disease Control and Prevention. Only about 102 people died after trank-related overdoses in 2018, the CDC said. said. The number rose to 627 in 2019 and by 2021 has reached 3,468. And, and again, and I keep saying this, where are our political leaders with this? Where is the CDC putting out massive warnings? They're not warning the general public. We, they, we need boots on the ground. Trank was the most frequent combined with fentanyl to create an epidemic 
deadly combination that the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration said puts its users at higher risk of suffering a fatal drug poisoning. The drug can cause severe sedation, low blood pressure, and is also in and of itself addicting, according to Dr. Ian Whitman, Chief of Service for the for the emergency department at NYU Langone Hospital, Brooklyn. It hits users like a pipe to the head and leaving them in a state of lumbering self-consciousness, the odd contortions combined with the trank's tendency to rot the skin. It is not an opioid, so it doesn't respond to Noxon, the overdose reversal drug commonly known by its brand name as Narcan, uh, that means if someone overdoses, friends and family can revive them, says Lee McCulley, a harm reduces who also works with a nurse association in Asbury. Trank can also cause psychosis. Listen to me carefully, folks. Trank can also cause psychosis, a stark departure from drugs like heroin or fentanyl that can ex exasperate existing mental illnesses but won't cause it on their own, McCulley says. They're dropping like flies and losing their minds, McCulley recently told The Post. They think that they have GPSs in their bodies. They have voices in their heads. They think that there are cameras everywhere, she continued. More than one person has told us that they were going to jump in front of a car or a train. They thought they were being followed uh, and were going to be killed by the FBI or the CIA. Caitlin Fuyamaro, a 35-year-old certified nurse's assistant, uh, sorry if I butchered the name, knows all too well how Trank twists a re re reality for those who indulge in it. A mother or two has been addicted to crack cocaine for nearly two years and often smoking track as a consequence. And you can read more toward this because there, there are a lot of sad stories into this. And this, let's bring this up to this perspective, ladies and gentlemen. The crimes that are happening in the New York subway, the homeless people that are attacking people, you know, out of nowhere for no reason whatsoever. Could it be possibility that these people are on Trank? We won't know this because basically New York City has been keeping this quiet. We know uh, from one perspective the situation where the homeless person was choked out that he was already on K uh, for some time now, according to his uncle. But the thing about it is they won't go into it because they don't want people to know that we have a drug problem on our streets. This is making the 1970s and 80s look like a picnic in the park compared to the drug pr problems that we had back then. And I tell you, I live through it. Seeing New York the way I saw it back in the day, and you'll see it from the background footage that we are showing you of old New York. I mean, we had, play I mean, we looked like a war zone. It was very frightening to go down into the New York City subway because it smelled of urine and marijuana, and you saw needles and drugs all over the place. And you had a slew of homeless people just living in the subway system throughout and nothing being done about it. It took many years to just dig us out of that hole. And it, you know, when Giuliani was mayor and cleaned up New York City and, and, and finally left office, all they did was criticize him for the job he did, where he did a fantastic job by cleaning up New York City. New York became safer under his administration. The last several administrations have made New York unsafe, allowing the drugs to come in and governors allowing to legalize marijuana, causing the issues that we're having today, the high crime issues, smoke shops that are being raided by criminals, not only by the cops, by criminals, people being shot in these smoke shops. We have marijuana, cannabis uh, being, coming illegally from other parts of the U.S., not from the farms that are growing them here. They have, last we heard, it was over 300,000 
pounds of cannabis sitting in a farmer's field ready to come in into these legal stores but probably will end up being destroyed because they have no one to sell to and then we know that some of these drugs are being laced it's the cannabis fentanyl that they're being laced with other drugs and causing these issues i tell you if you're a marijuana user right now i would stop temporarily you know i'm not saying you you know stop forever i you know i would prefer you stop forever but i would say stop right now don't give your money to the trade because basically you don't know who you're giving your money to and two you don't know what they're giving you because they don't give a shit if you die that's just another customer that they scratch off there and they'll gain another customer after that because they've made these drugs addictive including cannabis cannabis is on the the smoke level is 30 to 50 percent higher in thc than it was in the 1970s and it's 90 percent higher according to joe rogan when it comes to edibles which is even more dangerous because kiddie, kids are getting into these edibles and yes they are illegal unless you have a license to sell them i see all over twitter they're like oh yeah they've made it illegal we can now sell it no you need a license to sell it not to sell it under the table at the lo at the local bodega or the local smoke shop which also has cigarettes that are on tax vape pens that are illegal how much more that you you want to feed this market this is why again know who you vote for governor kathy hochul has become a major problem eric mayor eric adams in new york city has become a problem they're not solving the issues all they're doing is throwing more oil onto the fire and letting the fire burn we're going to end up like the streets of detroit if you remember how detroit is how bad it is there how you know it just des practically deserted that it is philadelphia is on its way there new york is on its way there san francisco is beginning to get there so once again where are our political leaders if you get a chance, contact your local senator. Let them know how upset you are to this nature. And if this is what's causing the crimes, the, 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 um, the violence out of the homeless community, we need to look into this further. So comment below. Let me know your thoughts about this. Don't forget to share this video. Hit the like, hit the notification bell, and maybe today's the day I earn your subscription. So until next time, we have another video out today. Thank you for tuning in, and bye-bye now.